When you go to a restaurant, you'll likely see signs posted showing you how to do the Heimlich maneuver. But what if we told you that there was a handheld device that could prevent you from choking? It's inexpensive and it could provide families and businesses peace of mind to have it on hand. Houston's only TV health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to explain how LifeVac works. Hey. Yeah, and I have one right here with me. Now, I would just want to tell you in 2020, the rate of kids dying from choking was one to two per 100,000. And that number was much higher before hazard warnings warnings popped up on toys circa 1990, but food is still a big choking risk for kids and the disabled. And that's why some people want to see more suction devices like this one, LifeVac, which claims to have saved over 300 lives. LifeVac should be in every care facility, every school, every restaurant. Tony Labate is with Equal First Aid, a nonprofit helping people with disabilities. She's specifically trying to raise awareness about the dangers of choking for people like Houstonian Gary Lynn. But you never know when that day may come. Gary has cerebral palsy, so getting him out of a wheelchair for the Heimlich maneuver will be a difficult balancing act for anyone. So he supports more awareness about choking. And even though he's never had to use it, carries a life vac on his chair. Because it could be life saving for people like me. Here's how it works. You place it over the mouth, push down, and dislodge whatever is blocking an airway. The mask size ranges from kids to adults. Inventor Arthur Lee says they've saved 300 lives in 10 years. The back was as prevalent as AEDs. The estimate saves would be in the 3,000 people. So once I learned about the life act, I strongly felt that I should advocate for the people in a wheelchair or with their disability. Tony's only personal connection to people like Gary is that she's worked as a caregiver and now on a mission to bring awareness to how often people with disabilities struggle and no bystanders have the training to jump in. Most recently, um, they had a pain pump in their abdomen, so you can't always do the Heimlich maneuver or rescue other rescue options on these disabled people. And now with LifeVac, there's no needles, no medicine, or anything that has the potential to harm someone. It is just a suction. And, you know, establishments already have first aid kits, AEDs. Some have EpiPens on hand. So Equal First Aid wants to see these right along those other life-saving devices. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we, we said they were inexpensive. What, what's the cost? So it costs about $70, and you know, e even if a school didn't want to pay one, uh, Equal First Aid is hoping that they would be willing to take donations from a parent, from a PTA. You only need one on hand. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's a great idea. Haley, thank you. Thanks, guys.